yo, stop being lame. Life's too short to be lame. I mean, you only live life once, why not make it great? And yes, 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 I understand that there's a lot of insecurity in people in the world, and you have every right. You know, I would expect no less of a majority of people, especially in the Western civilization, to feel inadequate and depressed about that on some level. But when you start getting so lost and so caught up in this sense of inadequacy and not meeting up to people's expectations and not fitting the desired mold, it really starts to weigh down on you and it starts to turn you instead of being a person who acts from the inside out with integrity and quality and value in everything you do, it becomes about acting in accordance to other people and their expectations. So you start acting from the outside in and that's when you start, you know, you lose your consistency and the integrity of the action and the quality. And, you know, instead of doing things for yourself in a, in a very, you know, well thought out and intended and directed way, you start doing things according to other people's motivations and you, you don't have the same sense of direction um, and you don't make the same progress on a personal level. And you wind up finding yourself in situations that you hate, um, you know, routines and rituals that you just bore you to death. And you, you think, why, why am I here? Why am I doing this? Why am I friends with these people? Why am I stuck in this job? Really, at the end of the day, it all comes down to you. You. It comes down to the choices you make. You can choose to be great and to do great things and to take steps towards that. Or you can choose to be lame. But don't be lame, because that sucks. But you can choose to be lame. And a lot of time, people don't think consciously, oh, well, I'm going to be lame. But, you know, they just let things happen like a pinball in a pinball machine, just letting the flippers hit them in an action-reaction kind of reality. They just become reactive. And they react to various pressures of the external world. And they wind up in places. And they're like, how did I get here? Instead, if you take control of your life and you become the flipper, you can become proactive, not reactive. Sometimes it's good to be reactive when, you know, you're in a theater kissing your girl. You don't want to be like, oh, I'm proactive and like, I'm going to go get some popcorn and, and interrupt the kiss. You, you just want to be in the moment and react and feel it emotionally. But a lot of people let their emotions take the rein. And this is where the inadequacy comes in, you know, when the emotions take the rein too often. A lot of the emotions we feel aren't good. You know, when we want to gain the approval of our peers, we want to fit in. As pack animals, you know, we we end up feeling sad or angry or frustrated when we don't satisfy the people we care about's expectations. You know, and when you care too much about that and you feel too much about that, that's when you're motivated to do things which you wouldn't normally do for you, but you would do it for other people. You know what I'm saying? So here's my advice. It's to realize that your life is your life and everyone else's life is their life. You are responsible for no one else's life but your own. Everything that happens to you, you are accountable for. Even if it's done by other people, most of the time you get to choose how you respond, not react. Because that's not a choice. But you can choose how to proactively respond. And if you find yourself stuck in situations that you don't like, and routines and things constantly keep happening, that, you know, just frustrate you or depress you, change it. Change it because that's the good thing to do. And if you keep doing all the good things, if you keep turning left or right here whenever there's a block, instead of persisting to bump into the block, you know what I'm saying, to the wall. If you actually, at every twist and turn, make the right choice and take the wisest direction, they're all good steps that lead towards greatness. You know what I'm saying? They lead towards a life of being fulfilled happy because you lived according to your rhythm, to your tune that you were drumming. And it doesn't mean you have to ignore everybody else, it just means you don't prioritize everyone else in terms of their expectations and making sure you satisfy them. You set the goals for yourself, you set the expectations on yourself, and you do everything you can to meet that, uh, those expectations and to realize that. That's what matters, that's what makes a person great. You can satisfy everyone, or at least try, because you can't please everyone all the time. At the end of the day, even if you were able to please everyone at the time, at the end of it all, you might find that you personally are still very displeased. So, I think it works out much better if you focus on doing what pleases you, what's going to further you, 
it's not going to please everyone still just the same but at least at the end of the day you'll be all the better for it you know what i'm saying that's my advice people be great stop being lame you know what i'm saying <laughs>